Natan, hey Shalom Shalom, Nawatan, Kau Halayim, Wahawad La, Alahayanawa, Abanawa, Yahawa, Bahasham, Hamashayak, Wamalak, Yahawa Shah. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone who currently lead well by teaching us about the body of believers, the church, the hundred percent truth. Okay, leading the flock by example. And are our true teachers to the nation of Israel on every day. Peace, blessing, citations, and honor goes out to the Akim, the brothers pushing this 100% gospel the world over in sincerity and in truth, risking their life for Yahweh. What Yahweh shall I say? <coughs> to a few sisters, to you I say, Shalom, they're doing the right thing. What Adawan Rataza, which means Lord willing. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And this is marvelous and wondrous work that Yahweh, Bahashem Yahshai, is. is uh, <clears throat> pouring upon Babylon the great America man it's clear and evident that the Lord is destroying this place man okay you know you, you got the, the elect men you know sighing and crying you know the elect of the nation of Israel man sighing and crying for the abominations that's done in the midst thereof man really answering in, you know the prayers of the elect okay you know as we you pray for the downfall of this wicked kingdom of Esau Edom which his main stronghold is in power source, his headquarters is America, okay, and the Lord is giving body shots to this place, okay, and he can't sustain himself, man, he can't sustain himself, okay, you know, this, this is the hall that rides, that sits from the waters, man, okay, so as you can see from the uh, headline, this is a recent article, July the uh, 21st, 2003, the hopeful year that all prophecies have come to pass, deemed and coiled, sorry, deemed and coined by Elder Apostle Zaha, okay, through the spirit, so, uh, NBCnews.com headline reads: Tornado that struck Pfizer plant ripped through warehouse where drugs were stored. And rightfully so, man. Okay, because as you should know by now, you know you have Pfizer. Okay, who, uh, along with other <coughs> vaccine companies like AstraZeneca, Moderna, Johnson and Johnson, who administered the. Uh, the C19 vaccines for people to take, which you know, they were poisonous, man. You know, people people are dropping dead. A lot of people, millions and millions of people worldwide and things like that. All right, are dropping dead, and some are just not in in their not the same after they've taken you know the the hokey pokey. All right, <coughs> you know and that's another thing you saw. Eden wants wants you know to happen. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, man. The Israelite born in speckled birds. He wants you far away from your power, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, man. Okay? By <coughs> poisoning you. Alright? Destroying your body and wreaking havoc on it. Okay? And one of the ways he does this is attacking, attacking us through his medical system. Alright? Waging war on us that way. Okay? He's doing it with the food, all right, as an example, all right, financial warfare, all right, causing us to go in debt and debt and debt further, all right, this one hates us, man, going back to the womb, leaving the far out, going back to Cain and Abel, okay, so it says the company is working with the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, to assess the extent of the damage and gorge, how it will impact the country's already strained drug supply you know this is his uh his pharmacy his witchcraft man his sorcery okay you know true um <clears throat> medicine comes from the earth like it says in the apocrypha man okay from the earth was created medicines and he that is not a what he that is not wise will not abhor them or he that is wise will not abhor them man meaning to hate them or to avoid them Okay, got all these different herbs and plants. Okay, that can cure certain illnesses and things like that. Which you saw knows that, so he will put a little bit of the ingredient in there and conjure up his own. Okay, you know concoction of different chemicals. All right, to remove the uh, <coughs> the effectiveness of that of that um of that medicine. Sorry, to remove the effectiveness of that herb. Alright? To make you feel like you're gonna get better. 
So really it's going to damage you further and further. Right. So it says the tornado that ripped through a major Pfizer pharmaceutical plant in North Carolina on Wednesday almost completely destroyed the plant's warehouse which stored raw materials, packaging supplies and finished medications awaiting release to hospitals across the United States. Pfizer CEO Albert Berla said during a press conference on Friday, the company is working with the Food and Drug Administration, which on Friday said it was still trying to gauge or gauge the impact the natural disaster could have on the nation's drug supply. Okay, and you know America, <coughs> you know it's got that's got a long history with drugs, man. Okay, you know you <coughs> you've even got in. Uh, I believe it's opium, okay, a high, uh, high concentration of opium in, in countries like Afghanistan, okay, and America will, uh, <coughs> you know, cause a false flag and and things like that with certain nations as an excuse to go to war with that country and extract its, its minerals and resources, okay, that's how wicked that place is. So it says the plant based in Rocky Mount, North Carolina made about 150 medicines, many of which are used by hospitals, including fentanyl and morphine for pain management and anesthetics for surgery. Half of the drugs made at the facility are on the FDA's essential medicines list. According to the United States Pharmacopoeia, a group that tracks drug supply chains. Okay, it's quite a lengthy article, so I'll just pick out certain key parts. All right. So it says a review from USP released Friday found many of the medications were already at risk of a shortage before the tornado occurred. See, that's the Lord cutting through this devil's plans, man. So it says the Pfizer plant is obviously an important contributor to the US supply chain, said Vimala, Vice President of Inform Informatics Product Development at the organization. That's right, man. Okay. Assessing the damage will be difficult, according to Pfizer, as only a small number of people have limited access to the facility due to hazards still present from the tornado. Yeah. That's why, you know, we warned our people, man, not to take this jump shot that this devil had. Okay. Because everyone knows in, in, you know, in the medication field, especially, you know, in science, things like this take a long time to test, right, into, you know, to research on to develop and manufacture it's not just done overnight so certain things you can't rush okay it takes years and years and years man to develop you know a vaccine All right so it says we are watching the situation closely as it evolves chanapa an fda po spokesperson said in an email Michael Ganio, Senior Director of Pharmacy Practice and Quality at the American Society of Health System Pharmacists, said that damage to warehouses, storing supplies and finished products would be likely easier to recover from by ramping up production again. Okay. <coughs> you know, so as Esau builds up, man, the Lord is going to throw down again. Okay. So repairing or replacing equipment to make the drugs would be more challenging and slower process, he added. Berla said that the production and facility the production facility didn't suffer any damage. Still he said the company is exploring alternative manufacturing locations. Either way, man. Okay. We can't <coughs> We can't escape the wrath of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Okay. Pfizer said in a statement that it is moving what it can to nearby sites for storage. The facility will remain closed while the damage continues to be assessed. The Pfizer Rocky Mount facility produces nearly 25% of the drug makers sterile injectable drugs in hospitals in the US and is one of the largest facilities for these drugs in the world according to the drug makers website. Sterile injectable drugs refer to any medications that are injected either intravenously or as a shot and are free from contamination. Okay, this is where we're at now. Alright. Alright. You know, a lot of these other Edomite companies, they, they work hand in hand with, with Pfizer and things like that. Okay, investing, Pfizer investing in other companies and other companies investing in Pfizer. Alright, because they might all seem like the one against another, might be all a competition, but they're all part of the same, the same uh, stem or the same branch of wickedness. Okay. <laughs> you know. So 
uh, let's get Jeremiah. And, you know, this this is exciting. It truly is. So all this weather warfare that the Lord is bringing forth on Babylon the Great Man. Alright, is a faith booster to us. Alright. So Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 19. Behold, a whirlwind of the Adawan Yahweh is gone forth in fury. Even a grievous whirlwind, it shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. Right, and that's Esau Edom, man. Okay, beginning at the nobility of Esau Edom, the top. You banking international Jewish families, man. The Amalekites, right, being the head. Because they're at the top, man. All right. You know, so that their their plans, you know, are being crushed, and they're getting up in age that they want their new world order to kick off. All right. They truly want that. Yeah, but the Lord is going to throw down their plans, man, while he's eating. Okay. And this tornado. All right. Was that whirlwind of the Lord? Okay, that ripped through their plans. Rightfully so. Okay. And there's nothing you can do, you know, against natural disasters, man. You can only prepare for it. But you can't stop this. Because all the abomination, all the abominable works of the wicked, man, has been pushed throughout the whole, the whole globe, man, to these other nations. These other nations are fed up. All right. So there you go, man. Esau, Edom is being made bare. He's been, you know, America's been brought down. Broken down, man. Body shot bit by bit. That's right, man. Verse 20. The anger of the Adawan Yahweh shall not return until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, you shall consider it perfectly. That's right, man. And he saw Edom, man. He ain't going to consider his ways. All right? He cast the law behind his back, man. Okay? He didn't uphold the law, statutes, and commandments of, of the Bible of the Lord. Alright. None at all. Let's get another one. Proverbs chapter 10. In verse 25. The book of Proverbs chapter 10 verse 25. Oh, let's start at verse 24. The fear of the wicked it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. Verse 25. As the whirlwind passeth, so is the wicked no more. But the righteous is an is an everlasting foundation. That's right, man. The, the elect are gonna be preserved, all right, and protected in these days. Okay, all right. And the wicked is gonna be brought down. Okay, all right. Now you know the Lord will try the elect, man. Okay, some will be martyrs for the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Will have their heads chopped off. Some are gonna go to prison. Okay. But, <clears throat> you know, not even death can separate the elect from Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Alright? But the elect ain't gonna, you know, starve to death. Alright, the Lord will try them. They may make, may make him go without... The elect may go without food for a day, and maybe two. Alright? But he will preserve them in his hand. Okay? And the, and the amount of catastrophic... Natural events that's taking place in America, you, you can't even keep up with that. Along with the earthquakes as well. Alright. Let's get one more. Nahum. Chapter 1. Verse 2. It reads, God is jealous, and the Adawan Yahweh revengeth. The Adawan Yahweh revengeth and is furious. That's right, because the Lord is wicked with the angry every day. He's wicked, you know, he's angry at the wicked every day, sorry. Okay. The Adawan Yahweh will take vengeance on his adversaries and he reserveth his wrath for his enemies. Right, he lets these, you know, these heathens, you know, their wicked works pile up and up and up. To get to certain, until he, <clears throat> you know, brings down heavy judgment upon them. Alright, he lets their iniquity pile up and up and up. Right, just like the sins of Babylon the Great reach into the heavens, man. Okay. Until he eventually destroys that place, which will take the Lord one hour. Okay. The Lord revenges and is furious, that's right. 
verse 3. The Adawan Yahweh is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Adawan Yahweh hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. That's right, man. And that's how, you know, the Lord visits the earth, man. You know, through tempests, through storms. Okay. And he won't at all acquit the wicked. Surely he's great in power, but you know, these Christians and these people in the world, man, they, you know, <clears throat> they look at the Lord as a, as a joke. Let's just define the word acquit for a minute. Right, or acquitted, okay, acquit. That's a dictionary definition from Google. Acquit. That's right. Free someone from a criminal charge by a verdict of not guilty. Right, and the Lord, and he's all guilty on so many occasions, man. Okay, all the wickedness that he's done, the children of Israel. Alright. Damage is done to the environment. He ain't getting away, Scott Free, man. He's gonna have to pay for that. You think Yahweh can be mocked? Absolutely not, man. Okay. And more and more information is coming out about coming out about the, uh, you know, the ingredients that's in these uh, maxines, okay. And one of them is a uh, graphene oxide, okay. So graphene oxide induces cell toxicity through plasma membrane damage, generation of reactive oxygen species, and DNA damage, man. And that's another thing. The mRNA, you know, alters your DNA in your body, okay. And that was a a key ingredient in these maxines. Okay. All right. So there we go, man. Let's get one more scripture. We'll close out. Okay. The, the Lord is, is out here, man. Okay. And this proves that we're close to His return. All right. Alright, so the wicked ain't gonna get away, man. Alright. Book of 3rd John, chapter 1, and verse 4, which reads, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. And that's what the elect are doing, man. That's what they're hearkening to, the truth. Alright? The true doctrine of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? You know, taught by our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, chiefly. Okay? On down to the you know, the, the elder bishops and brothers, okay, and other like-minded groups that teach the exact same doctrine as Great Milton GMS, all right? Okay, so they have the 100% truth, and we say that boldly, confidently, and humbly, okay? And that's why the elect won't be deceived, man, because they're walking in truth, all right? The majority of our people, though, you know, they, they hearken unto Esau for truth and seek unto his wisdom and take counsel from him. In the modern day Pharaoh, man, and they walk in the shadow of Egypt. Alright, so the elect. Alright, they choose Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Okay, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Alright, again, double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone who rule well and who teach well. Alright, and in closing, unlimited praises, honor, and glorification goes to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Alright, so with that. Kwam Yasharala, Wa Ababa Ball, and also may the blessing of election fall upon your houses. Till next time, Adawan Rasaza, Shalom to the elect.